This is Good Morning Mumbai, and you're with Rishi K. Radio One. My corporate guest today is uh, Director of Consulting at Intellicap. Hey, Nisha Dutt, how are you? Doing well, Rishikesh. So, how does uh, a Hyderabadi get enough of Mumbai? <laughs> Do you get any time off in your trips here? Oh, I try to squeeze in a little bit, but it's tough, you know. It um, is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, uh, you know, you, you've had a wealth of experience in, in consulting, uh, a track record that in, includes working at Deloitte before joining Intellicap. What interests me here is, here's somebody who's dedicated to... funding social enterprise right. so a bit about that uh, as far as intellicap is concerned so i think uh, our really primary objective is to help businesses grow sustainably and scale them mm. on a market based approach but basically you know we want to work with enterprises that have a positive social outcome or environmental outcome so that's primarily the purpose and uh, that's really exciting because there's so much happening and i think india is really the hotbed for social enterprises right now completely i mean for example in the in agri business right. uh, what are the areas that you've looked into Uh, so we have looked at you know how mobile apps are being used in agri business to for instance you know reach out to farmers with information and uh, you know helping their productivity um, how do you connect farmers back to you know larger corporate uh, value chains that you go to uh, so for instance every time you walk into a godrej um, nature basket where is the produce coming from how do you bring you know cut out the middlemen and bring farmer and corporates uh, closer to each other so those are some of the challenges that we are working on right mm-hmm. and uh, you know i love the fact that you're working with water i think uh, on 90% of our problems are are water based problems and, and the future is looking pretty bleak so a bit, a bit about water so i think water is going to be really challenging uh, thing in india because uh, one is you know water as a resource um, i always say that you know the cost of water is higher than the price of water yep. so um that's become a huge challenge but as far as drinking water itself is concerned um i think that you know technology is being used in indiscriminately especially around you know reverse osmosis whereas you know half of india really needs something like ultra filtration and yet we uh, don't use technology well we don't use water as a resource very well so yeah it's going to be tar- tricky but i think uh, the way to counter is going is also going to be um the way you know we are going to invest in technology such as desalination and others to bring this resource back and uh, basically you know um, recycle it more and more Nisha is with Intellicap uh, they're into uh, funding investment uh, in social enterprise and she's going to be my guest uh, through the hour pictures up at twitter.com/hrishiky and on facebook it's facebook.com/hrishiky like the page this is good morning mumbai and you're with rishi k radio 1 Nisha that is my corporate guest she heads uh, consulting services at Intellicap it's always wonderful to have a, an attractive lady first thing in the morning in in studio okay you know your cv is pretty impressive a masters degree in industrial engineering and management from oklahoma and an mba from ohio so uh, you know studying in the us that must have been great fun it was actually i think it was some of the best years um, it gives you a lot of exposure it gives you a lot of networks and definitely a lot more fun to be away from parents right away from supervision so <laughs> <laughs> the perks of it but did you manage yes. to get away over the weekends and do some backpacking in and around the US oh uh, absolutely I travelled hmm. like crazy in fact I backpacked through Europe uh, for you know I took a sabbatical I took a break and I said I had enough of work and I backpacked through Europe for 6 months wow did you, you know, do like Eastern Europe or parts of Western Europe or what did you do I actually did Eastern Europe Western was so much more travelled so mm, correct in fact I did that I mean I just went alone uh, for 40 days through France so it's so therapeutic isn't it it's quite amazing yeah? it is it is amazing to be out there on your own and try to kind of you know slog mm. it out but was this a logical turn for your career to take nisha to get into a place like intellicap which is social enterprise or did you change career paths i mean you were you were at deloitte for a while weren't so, you so i think there was nothing logical about it really it mm. was uh, serendipity uh, because when i came back to india i wasn't looking to you know get into social sector at all it was not uh, it was not even on my radar so to say but i think um, intellicap just happened they reached out to me and i thought oh you know what let me see if i can try my skill set here because i was at a point of time in my career year where i thought maybe i could try something different and this turned out to be amazing you know beyond my imagination so it's been fun <laughs> lovely in conversation with anisha she's from intellicap who we're talking uh, social enterprise and a whole lot more don't go anywhere this is good morning mumbai and you're with rishi k radio 1 anisha that is my corporate guest uh, she heads consulting services at intellicap they're doing some very interesting work with the agri business uh, with water social enterprise that it goes up to the rural level now you were at frisco you were in san francisco with Deloitte you know how much of a jump is that to come into Intellicap I mean let's talk huge data numbers and things like that yeah it's been 
um, it's been interesting because you know for a while I couldn't see a lot of overlap but then um, I slowly started making those connections and um, really I think uh, more and more uh, you will hear that big data is the next thing you know it's a big thing yeah. in Valley and uh, we are seeing a lot of applicability of it even to you know our work in social enterprises so for instance there is so much donor money that comes into India into these social causes and what's the best use of that money mm. how do we use it you know can we mine data for more intelligent decision making so I think a lot of those technologies have a uh, very very relevant to solving you know complex social problems in fact if anything I would think that this would be the place where we should use some really mm-hmm. so. and also what, what interests me is the fact that you've actually taken seven Asian markets which is India Bangladesh Nepal Pakistan Indonesia Cambodia and Philippines and you're, you're exploring potential of solar off-grid lighting talk yes. a little bit about that yeah so um, I think again you know what like water energy is again a you know resource that's quite mismanaged I think and for that we need to move into you know off-grid models and uh, pretty much decentralize the whole energy access to energy market so we have been looking across all of Asia and looking at you know how what is the potential for these markets to go off grid and what are the solutions that could be just community based and you know don't need to be like huge centralized uh, you know large capex heavy projects mm-hmm. can we just make it community based so that's again something that's of you know a big interest to us and we have been looking at it not just in these markets but also you know in markets like Bihar Samasipur and all that really rural markets in India mm-hmm. so if you have any comments to make on this interview uh, any questions do you want to raise is twitter.com slash hrishikay that's linked to facebook.com slash hrishikay like the page post and uh, we'll bring it out uh, shout out to Nisha from IntelliCap this is Good Morning Mumbai and you're with Rishi K Radio 1 Nisha that uh, heads consulting services for IntelliCap you know a lot of strategic initiatives demonstrate how you can take social enterprise take it at every level uh, and make a change the Sankalp Forum yes. that's something that you guys are very passionate about What what is it? So Sankalp Forum is really the forum to bring you know social enterprises um, give it a platform really um, it's a forum where we like to encourage policy dialogue you know engage with all the ecosystem uh, players and talk to them about you know what's new and hot in social enterprise space but I think core to it really is to connect you know social enterprises to investors and show them you know what's the potential of investment in the sector so that's always been you know at the heart of uh, Sankalp as a forum so that's something we just wrapped up a very successful Sankalp um, in April and we had almost I think 1500 people show up wow and it's an annual thing huh? it's an annual thing we also do some regional events but it's an annual thing we had almost I think 600 enterprises social enterprises new and upcoming businesses across water agribusiness healthcare and we had almost I think um, 300 400 to you know investors show up so Mm -hmm. it's an exciting platform you know and there's so many people who are into philanthropy for example the Rockefeller Foundation and I find that you people are are, uh, channeling some of that uh, energy into into India and other markets Uh, talk a bit about that so I think uh, mainly you know the again like I said um, the goal of IntelliCap and I think all of us really is how can you channel most number of you know uh, most amount of dollars into these markets so it happens through uh, sometimes through direct funding sometimes it happens through you know working with social enterprises and building their capacities to respond to market challenges so it happens in several ways but yes Rockefeller is an important client for us uh, so is you know Gates Foundation we work with several other um, you know IFC World Banks they're like you know really generous with their time and money and really support us in taking this initiative Nisha Dutt from IntelliCap my guest uh, there will be more conversation don't go anywhere 94.3 Radio 1 this is Good Morning Mumbai and you're with Rishi K Radio 1 fascinating uh, session of talking uh, to Nisha Dutt uh, she heads consulting services at IntelliCap they spread their tent into social enterprise and you know the BOP that's an area that not many people in the radio space talk about you know the bottom of the pyramid as far as uh, populace is concerned right. I want you to talk a little bit about that and the interest is generated I think we should have more conversation because it's such a huge market um, I think a lot more people are now getting interested in the opportunity because just look at corporates and their um, markets right they have traditionally served mid markets but they know that there's this whole opportunity that's sitting at bottom of the pyramid and how do they access the market how do they tap into it they there are social enterprises that work in the base and then there are corporates that are catering to mid-market. Correct. How do you bring it together and you know make that magic happen? Because I think um, even in bottom of the pyramid markets, their needs are now no different than yours and mine. How do you make sure that they get access to the same things? You know, maybe not the same quality of life, but at least the same essential basic services. How do you make you know that access happen? And I think that's really at the heart of it. That's a key. And I think a lobby need participation from larger corporates to actively look at these markets. 
and i would say less from csr angle but more from you know their core business angle mm. because there is money to be made in these markets frankly mm. um, in fact you know what nisha is just talking about i have some very interesting numbers income below us dollars 3260 that's 4 billion people right. in the bop base of the economic pyramid uh, and the income below us dollars 20000 2 billion people and 0.5 billion people at the top so what you're saying is 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 huge here, it's know? huge the opportunity is huge and i think uh, you just need to know how to tap these markets because um you know there's a need for product and services just as you know other people need it just like you and I need it mm. so i think uh, there has to be a mechanism so that's exactly what we are trying to do we are trying to see how this you know product and services can reach this massive number of people that are and they can pay actually you know yeah you talked about the bill and melinda gates foundation and a bit about the rockefellers there's also uk aid which you're involved with yeah yes mm. so it definitely actually helps uh, this is a facility that we run which is called business innovation facility really uh, the purpose of the facility is getting corporates and large the corporate houses engaged and excited about the opportunity at the bottom of the pyramid so we do that with variety of things we sometimes take them on field visits uh, we also help them um, plan their initiatives in a way that they can target this bop markets in a sustainable manner obviously everyone thinks that you know they are not going to make as much profit if they go to these markets so we show them how they can you know target these markets get their products and still make money so i think uh, really the fallacy is that there's no money to be made i think there's plenty of money to be made and there's nothing you don't have to be ashamed of it right? yeah correct nisha is a wonderful talking to you but before you go you got to give out your coordinates if somebody were to know about what intellicap is doing do you have a website uh, do you have a facebook page or something that people can oh, reach absolutely. out to oh absolutely please reach out to us at www.intellicap.com and you can reach me at nisha.that@intellicap.com that's i n t e l l c a p that's correct thanks very much for your time before you go one international song that you really like that we can play for you <laughs> oh you have to pay nothing else matters ah metallica <laughs> fan <Yes. laughs> thanks so much thank you